Hello friends, my name is Bree and welcome to that Iowa homestead. Well, warmer weather is definitely on the way. Next week it is supposed to be in the 90s all week. So it is time to get my irrigation system up and running. Now, I leave my irrigation system out all winter long, which is fine. I just unhook it, make sure there's no water left in it, and we're good. However, because I leave my irrigation system out all winter long, sometimes rodents get to it a little bit, which is fine. No big deal. I can fix that. I have lots of extra um, hoses and tubing. It's cool. So rodents like to chew on my smaller pieces of hose here. So I often end up with tiny little leaks. So I have not turned on this irrigation system yet. Um, I'm just gonna check it over and see if there's any big leaks that I can see that I can just fix right away before turning it on. And then after that, we'll turn it on and find all the teeny tiny leaks. Well, <laughs> we definitely found a big leak there, didn't we? But it's fine, we got that one fixed. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hook my irrigation system back up. I'm gonna turn the water on and then I'm just gonna do a quick once over um, and see where I can pick out all the little things. I clearly have some work to do. <laughs> All right, let's get after it. So I have my little section here that needs to be replaced. You can see there is a chew mark right here. There's another one right there. So this one definitely needs replaced. Um, when I'm replacing my tubing, this is my new line, I try to err on the side of having too much rather than not enough. Because too much I can work with. Not enough, then I just have to cut more tubing and then I've wasted tubing. So um, I don't do exact measurements. I just line it up here. It's all lined up, ready to go. And then I'll just come down here, bend my tube. Take my razor knife and pull. There we go. Now I have a brand new section of tubing ready to go. So when I'm attaching a new section of tubing to my irrigation system, what I like to do is get the end of this pretty warm so that it's more malleable. So what's going to happen is this is going to get warm and then, here, let me lift this up. And then I will attach it to our little connector right here. And because it's warm, it's going to form to the connector and it's gonna like suction down on it and make it just that much more difficult to come apart, which is what we want. So I tracked down this lighter we had laying around. I'm just going to take this lighter and just warm this up just like this. Keep turning it for just a few seconds. And then it should be good and malleable and I can just slide this right on there. And you can see how it just forms to that little connector. That's perfect, that's what we want. Here's the other section, same thing. Warm up our new piece, get it nice and hot, good and malleable. And just slide it right on there. See, it just forms directly on there. So after you warm it up, you wanna get it attached pretty quickly because they do cool off pretty fast and then you'll just have to warm it back up again. Not like a huge deal, more of a minor inconvenience than anything, but yeah. So this section replaced, we are good to go right here. All right, I think I have all of the little leaks fixed. So what I'm gonna go do now is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn my irrigation system on one more time, hopefully, fingers crossed. 
and I'm just gonna double check everything and see if I can see any more leaks. Ah, yes. There's another leak. That's okay. We can get that fixed. No big deal. Let's check over the rest of our system and see if we can't spot any more. After checking everything else out, I did not see any cause for concern anywhere else at this point in time. So, I think I can just fix this last little leak and we should be good to go. All right. I just got that last leak that I saw fixed. I just turned my irrigation back on. I'm gonna do one more little once over on everything, make sure everything's functioning the way it's supposed to be functioning, making sure I don't see any last minute leaks. And yeah, that should be it. I don't see any leaks at all on my main lines, which is wonderful. My raised beds aren't giving me any cause for concern. I'm getting water all the way through all of the lines to the end of the raised beds, which is great. Yeah, I'm gonna check over my tomato row one more time. All right, everything looks good, perfect. So, that's it. My irrigation system is ready for the summer and my plants are definitely gonna thank me for it come next week. If you have any questions regarding my irrigation system, please leave those down in the comments below. I would love to answer all of your questions. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the goings-on here on the homestead. Thank you for coming with me today. I'll see you soon.